waiting for you. I'm Taryn S., a witch who's been standing in magical spaces for almost 40 years now, and I'm so happy that I get to open up the world of coven and witches to you. Come on in. Hello, hello. I'm so happy to see you today, and of course I am really excited that I've got Meadow. Hello. Meadow's here. Hooray. Join me on a, a really good topic dear to my heart as a Southern Conjuring witch. Of course, when we start talking mojo, I just want to lean into that conversation. Oh, <laughs> uh, what you know and everything. And first I want to talk about what mojo is. Mojo is about bringing spirit together. Bringing spirit together. That's, that's the simplest way to say it. All right, we're not making amulets and charms. This is completely different. This is working spirit realm. This is working the spirit of the the different herbs. Okay. Working the spirit of the, the root. root. Yes. All right, and, and bring those attractions together. And I'm gonna be working. What I'm gonna do first of all is say, look, bag your mojo, and which has got everything Get on your copy. Uh, everything I'm talking about, it's available on Amazon. It's also available in the book, the links below. I also have several recipes in there. I go through uh, what uh, Mojo is, how to create it, and everything else. Um, and the biggest thing I think with Mojo's, when I talk about the spirit, is that it's got to be fed. Yes. And this is where people, you know, this isn't making amulets and charm no, bags. No, this is like a Tamagotchi. It will die if you don't feed it. But... I love that rapper. <laughs> That's too funny. That's just a little. This is. Yeah, yeah. Yes, you're bringing in the spirit, and I've got some of that. Like, uh, angelica root is really, really common mm -hmm. in the mojo bags. Okay. Uh, uh, and the spirit of the spirit angelica. of angelica. So tell me about the spirit of angelica. And then, well, all, it's one of Marie Laveau's. Oh. Uh, this is on her list when you get into. The Angelica, which of course, if we hear the name of it, Angelica, right. Angel. Oh, it's an angel. So this is one of those what we call a higher realm. It's a realm of prosperity. It's a realm of love. Mm -hmm. But where we really get into the spirit of it is when we are able to grow it. We oh, can harvest yes. it. We, you, you can know it through it. its life cycle. Right. And really get to know the spirit. So you bring in the spirit. Spirit of that. Angelica. Man, I almost feel like we got a like polar opposite almost to Angelica. It, it's red chili peppers. Yeah. They're such a wonderful spice. And again, this is a very common mojo bag ingredient. And we're bringing in the, the spirit of it. I oh, love yeah. to add a little pepper to my work. Oh, yes. Yeah. Pepper is great. Um, and it's not about just putting ingredients in a bag. Right. Or in, I typically like to use squares. I have some of the different. Right, and you just kind of put all of it. The and roots right. Together and and what I would uh, t traditionally, it was red flannel. Ooh. Our oldest uh, mojo recipes, uh, they would take red flannel, and what they were doing was reusing their long johns, their underwear. Understood. If you remember yeah. old school underwear, was red. Right, yeah. And when I've seen that in old movies. Right, right. But the, the red flannel mm -hmm. is coming because you recycle, reuse. They didn't know how. Right. A fabric store. You're like, well, we've got to get rid of these ones. Well, so we right. cut them up into cute little squares. All right. Some folks like to make bags. Both are correct. They're, the right way is your way. Y'all know if you've been watching me, which is, you know, mm -hmm. that the this, way, yeah, the way this, it works for you. This is right your way. intention. I would say, and you'll see, um, now modern conjures, we, uh, yeah, look, you got have, a rainbow of, I would say red, white, green, and black are what I would call our traditionals where you will see that's predominantly what we use. Yes. But if you pick up that, yeah, pick up that whole bat, that pile there, you can see, you can use any color, uh, these are actually little quilting swatches I buy and then I cut up more of my fat squares, quarters. fat quarters, and then it allows me, according to my mood, my desire, the moment I feel. Yeah, maybe it's a stripey mojo um, you're working, you know? Maybe I want to do, you know, 
a little something. It just depends. All right, again, this is for each individual witch, there is a way. Yes. All right. Once, so uh, once you find your way, that's a good way. Go with and that. Like I said, I, I like to take a square. I put all my stuff up in it. I take my corners together. And then you'll see me do my little squeeze. And then I just like good old school jute rope. But that's where the work begins. Right. Because before that, you're getting up in the spirit of the root. And then now I've taken these spirits and I've put them in this bag. And now I'm asking these spirits to work for me. Together for you. Together for me. So I've got to keep feeding it. All right. Uh, well, that's where uh, we typically, if I have like a lodestone in here, yes. which is very common, then I would use the iron filings to feed it. Uh, if I'm using herbal stuff, I like uh, Florida water, brew water, uh, bless men water. Okay. Um, yeah, I, I will, yeah, just different oils. Yeah. I have a whole we have thing of so oil. So anything, like things you would offer a, 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 a spirit. Another, right. Another, you know, it's a spiritual offering. And then you just, because you've got all your spirits in this bag with you, helping you with your work. And you have to keep feeding your mojo. And it's, you'll feel it. It's like I can say, once the bag's together and you got it all going. Oh, yeah. You can feel it when you got spirit up in it. And mm -hmm. once you got spirit in, you keep feeding it. Um, and then when you're done with your mojo, uh, we typically, it depends, every witch has a way, every exactly. conjurer right. has Absolutely. a way. Burn it, bury it, throw it in moving water. Although the, the, I, the throwing it in moving water, I know, is a historical thing, but I don't think that it's really sustainable. Mm, I understand that, yeah. I, I, that. I mean, I, I'm of the attitude we know better, we do better. Right. And so I understand that some of our old school mojo folk, or conjuring folk, you know, a um, hundred years ago didn't think about throwing some of these things in the water. And understand how it affected our water supply. Right. They didn't know. But we do know. So we should do better. Yeah. I know better. I do better. And that's up to you too, which is, uh, when we talk about disposing it, this is about also being kind to the earth. Right. All right. And, and you can burn them, bury them. And if you're so inclined, just throw it in your garbage. That's true. Maybe that's a good place to dispose of it. Maybe... If it For feels right, do yeah. it. Yeah. You know, we uh, typically, mojos, uh, depending on what the mojo bag is for, a uh, mojo bag for protection, you may use that mojo for years and years. You may feed it. Right. Keep using as long as you feel spirits in the bag. Uh, but if you, for any reason, put it to a side and it becomes dusty, the spirit leaves it. The spirit's going to go someplace where it wants. And then you will have to either see if spirit comes back into that bag or you will have to remake a bag. Yeah. And how long each bag were, lasts for, it just depends. It does. It depends on how you're feeding it. It depends on just how the energies are working. What you're using it for. Right. Maybe whatever you used it you know, for. Well, typically, like, if, I, if I'm if i using a, a mojo for attraction. Right. Where I'm looking love. Once I got my love, I'm I don't need my mojo. I don't need the mojo no more. So I'm going to, you know. You get once it serves its purpose. Yeah. Then you get rid of yeah. it. It's like, thank it for its time. and But the... Uh, Mojos are spirit-filled bags and need to be treated that way. Yes. Like I keep saying, this isn't some little charm. Yeah, little it's charm not a charm. That you just put over to the side. This is something that that has an energy in it, an energy that you have got to keep working with it if you want it to work for you. All right? That's what we call them workings. Yeah. <laughs> you got to work it. it. It's a working witches. Right. I and I hope if you're interested more back your mojo yes. uh, about wanting to learn more about mojo bags. Hi John, John is very common. Um, hyssop, which we call a higher, higher realm. This is an, I would use for protection. I might also use it for love too. To be yeah. honest, it just depends on how I feel. But Anastar is the last one we have here. Just. Yes, you'll find a lot of all the over. different herbs. Well, I don't know how many herbs we have anymore in this cottage. Right. 
um, witches, if you're interested, or just conjuring folk, you know, I keep saying witches, and I know a lot of you folks out there are just magical. Yeah. Uh, I hope I gave a little bit of information. If you are interested in mojos, recommend my book, of course, Unbiased. I think it's a great book, so. Do your research. Take your time. All right? This isn't a frivolous endeavor. You are bringing spirit into your realm. And you need to treat it with honor, reverence, and respect. All right. And uh, if you choose to let someone see your mojo bag or not, it's your own business again. Uh, I, I want to keep saying, because I know, like in my book, I, I give both sides to the story. I mm -hmm. talk about, you know, that uh, we all do it a little different. I don't want you to go Google it and say, oh, this is how it's done. This is right. the only way. Right. And that's, that's why not I'm, the right way. Uh, be careful with the Googling because we have too much misinformation out there. You know what I'm saying and everything. All right, which is, you know, of course, I want you to hit that subscribe button and hit the notify button. And if you are liking more and you really want to hear more what I have to say about Mojo Bags, I have a Patreon House of Witchcraft where we go through every recipe in this book give you video instruction and an opportunity to talk with us, get some feedback and everything. Uh, I did I get it all out? I think so. That sounds like, sounds like we've explained the spirit of the mojo. I hope this helps y'all witches and you have a bright and blessed day as we're having. Thank you so much for joining us. And until next week, uh, you know it never changes. It's always the same. Amen, bless be, ashe, and a bobo. Hello, I've been waiting for you. I'm Taryn S., and I have a lifetime ban on the subreddit Wicca. Come on in.